uh, hello everyone and welcome to, to today's Trailblazer community group meeting uh, where we will talk about the Salesforce Loyalty Management Cloud. Um, today's meeting has been organized jointly by the two Salesforce marketer community groups in Poland, uh, the Warsaw marketer group led by uh, Maciej Dakowicz, uh, and the Poznań Marketer uh, Community Group led by me, uh, Zuzanna Jarczyńska. Um, our guest speakers today, who will tell us a bit more about the uh, Salesforce Loyalty uh, Management Cloud, are Piotr Łobaczewski, uh, Marketing Cloud Solutions uh, Client Director, and Wojciech Gaura, uh, Marketing Cloud Solution Engineer. Uh, both uh, Piotr and Wojtek uh, work at Salesforce, uh, who we have partner partnered with for today's uh, event. Now, Luka, uh, I can, sorry if I can stop you. Yes. Actually, Lukas will be presenting today as well. Ah, okay. <laughs> while we're on the call, I just wanted to say, uh, so Lukas can say hello. But I also want to say a big hello uh, to Kasia, who has also joined the Marketing Cloud team at Salesforce recently. So for everyone on the call, Kasia will be responsible for uh, corporate business at Salesforce uh, for Marketing Cloud. And um, so that's any business between uh, 100 to 1,500 people. Kasia, do you just want to say hello? Yes, I'm here. I switched on my camera for a moment so everybody can see my face. Uh, welcome, and I'm very happy to, to see the content for today and very excited about working with you all. Cool. Yeah. Back to you, Lula, sorry. Yeah, so, so um, <laughs> basically, thank you to, to everyone at Salesforce uh, who will be, uh, who will be presenting today and, and thank you for, uh, for supporting, uh, this, uh, this, this group. So, um, a little bit about, uh, what this meeting is. Um, uh, the, the Warsaw and the Poznań marketer community groups are a part of a wider Trailblazer community, which is an international network of uh, Salesforce users, Salesforce customers, Salesforce partners, uh, helping each other grow uh, in the Salesforce economy. Uh, the Trailblazer community is run by the community members and open to everyone. Uh, so join us to learn Salesforce together, to build your network, to find mentors, to attend meetings, and to share your knowledge with other uh, community members. So now um, over to Maciej, who will tell you a bit more about how you can get engaged with the community. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, Zuzan. Um, hello, everybody. It's, it's really exciting uh, to have this meeting. It's um, for those who um, were in, in December in, in Warsaw, uh, you know that this is the second meeting that we are organizing here for Zuzanna, uh, who pioneered with, with this concept in Poland. It's, it's, I don't know even which event is that, um, but, but you're like a veteran here. Uh, so, um, as, as uh, I assume that for many of you, this concept of, of the uh, marketing cloud group uh, is relatively new. Uh, we thought that it, it might be worth to say a few words on, on how to actually engage. So uh, uh, many of you are already, um, I would say, subscribed and, and decided to join the official group. The, the link to the group, also the QR code is visible on the screen. So if you haven't done it yet, uh, please, please do it because it's, it's a, a one place where you can actually have some conversations, share photos and information about uh, what's uh, happening, uh, and, and this is also the communication channel by which you can influence uh, the direction in which the community uh, group is, is heading uh, to. So I, I really encourage you to, to do it. And as uh, Susanna also said, the community is open to uh, everybody. Uh, so if, if you are uh, like a certified specialist, who on a daily basis is implementing uh, marketing cloud and helping um, the customers, the group is for you. But also if you are like a new to this, um, uh, new to our Ohana, uh, and you just want to start learning uh, the platform, this is also the, the right place for you. Uh, 
uh, we will help you to grow professionally and share our knowledge so you can become an expert. And this is, of course, also a platform for end users. So if you're working on the client side and you are actually using the platform, um, configure uh, the journeys and, and communicate with your uh, consumers. Um, we, we would like to see you here also engaged and, and sharing your perspective and telling us uh, what community should be talking about, what kind of events we should organize, uh, what is important from your perspective. Uh, and last but not least, if you are also a potential customer and just thinking about uh, purchasing Marketing Cloud and you would like to explore it and learn more, um, uh, have an interaction with people who uh, deal with it on a daily basis, this is a uh, community for you. So uh, as we said, everybody is, is uh, warmly welcomed. If, if you have any doubts, uh, just join and give it a try and uh, we hope that you will be uh, satisfied as as you can see on the photo on the uh, left hand side everybody was very satisfied with the december meeting and, and so i believe you will be with the next one um then uh, if we can move forward um you may wonder what kind of events uh, we are planning currently so um, in december we had the uh, kickoff meeting for the warsaw group and it was uh, uh, primarily focused on, on, on CDP, uh, while the uh, January it's, it's more about the loyalty management uh, cloud. Uh, but for the next month, we have a list of topics uh, we, which, we, which we would like to cover. Uh, they are really different. So starting from Interaction Studio and uh, going through uh, App Exchange apps for uh, Marketing Cloud, discussing some solutions for deployment manage management, uh, discovering uh, application of Slack, um, uh, and so on and so forth. This is all on our list. So um, the high level plan is, is uh, already uh, built. Uh, we are right now discussing this with potential partners and speakers uh, who could share their content uh, during those meetings. Um, so if, if if you feel that uh, you could contribute to it somehow, so for instance, you, you would like to become a speaker, uh, please contact me or, or Zuzanna uh, so uh, we can see uh, how uh, how we can uh, host you on, on the events. Um, also, if, if you uh, would like to share your opinion on what topics should be covered in, in February, March uh, and the next months to come, uh, please also get in touch with us, share your opinion, and uh, uh, this, will, this will help us to make this community even more exciting and more interesting for everybody. And uh, if, if you wonder how the meetings will look like, uh, I would say um, right now, depending on the pandemic situation, uh, we are making decisions. So uh, either it will be uh, done in person or online as we have right now, or we will do uh, a hybrid mode as we had in December. So some people met uh, in person, some people joined online. Um, we will inform you in advance about uh, this. And uh, it, it, it might be also worth for you to know that we have, a, I would say, a very, very uh, challenging and ambitious plan for organizing the meetings. While I would say a standard for a marketing cloud group worldwide is to have one meeting per quarter. Uh, we we discuss uh, this with uh, Salesforce, with Piotr and his team, and uh, thanks to their support and, and the great energy they shared, uh, we decided that we would like to try with having one meeting per month even. Uh, so that's what we are currently planning, and I believe that with uh, with Piotr and his team support, it, it would be uh, doable and, and um, exciting for everybody. So that's how it looks like. Uh, that's that's uh, what the Marketing Cloud uh, Local Group is. That that's what our plans. Um, and um, once again, if uh, if possible, please engage. It, it will be become it will become more interesting for you and for other people as well um, and uh, maybe here we can uh, we, we, we can uh, slowly uh, move uh, to the actual content of, of uh, today's meeting and uh, before we hand over to Piotr and, and to the team it's worth to mention that uh, we plan this meeting for like one hour and a half 
So we expect to finish like uh, half past um, seven uh, Central European time. And um, uh, that the meeting, uh, the, the material that would be presented by Piotr and by the team would be recorded. Uh, we still haven't decided whether we, we are going to publish it and make it available somehow, but uh, uh, we've observed that this is, I would say, a popular way of uh, sharing materials by other um, um, marketing cloud groups. So if, if, if we decide that this is, I would say, an interesting uh, uh, material and, and it's permissible to, to share it just like that, um, uh, then we will do it and we will inform you in the uh, marketing cloud uh, group about it. So, Piotr, uh, the stage is yours. Cool, thank you. Uh, let me share my screen then. Uh, and you want to start the recording? Whenever you are ready. I'm ready. Yeah, so. There's your brandy, by the way. Yeah, just a second. Let me start recording that. Okay, the stage is yours, truly yours. Cool. I don't see the recording yet, but um, that's fine. So look, uh, anyway, hello everybody. Um, welcome to the Loyalty Cloud session. Um, we'll be presenting today together with Ukash and Wojtek. The plan is I'll do no more than three slides, three or four slides around where the loyalty fits in the overall stack, what are the kind of key capabilities, and then we'll move to Wukash. Wukash will be showing effectively how, uh, like a storyboard on how a business user uh, or a service agent would work across uh, loyalty, but also in connection with CDP, service cloud, what's the general day to day from the from the loyalty admin program, setting up the, the loyalty program, managing it, analyzing it, as well as how to adjust points as a service agent on the call center. So these will be presented in the form of uh, the storyboard. And then Wojtek, uh, our uh, superstar SE, will go through the uh, the kind of insights out of loyalty and we'll show you the real platform and, and the technicalities integration. So we'll go from the very high level to deep integrations, connections, etc. etc. So with that, uh, let me move to the first slide, which some of you might be familiar with, but this is today's marketing cloud stack. Beginning from the left, which is what we discussed in December, which is the customer data platform responsible for integration uh, of all the data and creating a single view of the customer. Uh, so effectively, some would call it a B2, uh, B2C CRM. Um, the platform allows us to create the segments, activate them not only across Salesforce ecosystem, but also uh, externally. We then have the blue bit, which is the activation channel, so the good old journey builder uh, for campaigns and also Interaction Studio, uh, which is having an amazing traction in Poland. We also have Datarama and Tableau for the analysis uh, and media optimization. And then at the end, something, uh, the latest product is loyalty management for smart, smart rewards and recognizing cu customers building, building out that lifetime value. But of course, the whole flow is important on how those all those modules interact. So a lot of demos, and especially what Wukash will be showing, is how the user moves across all those products to deliver a good um, uh, loyalty program in combinations with the partners. So in a nutshell, what Salesforce loyalty management does, and by the way, we have loyalty management for uh, both B2B, B2C, as well as uh, global customers. So there are three different uh, licenses per se for those that are interested. But uh, in all in all, the key functionalities and capabilities of the loyalty program are things such as being able to set up a program and define what the program is, and that's across vouchers, um, promotions, and benefits. 
Uh, we have the member administration, so how to administer all the um, all the members who are using the loyalty partner administration. So this is, for example, if I am setting up my loyalty program and I want to partner with external uh, partners where my points are exchanged for products or benefits across other partners, or um, by shopping across my partners, uh, customers can collect points uh, in my company, right? So uh, there are two ways of uh, managing the partners. The rewards management, so effectively, what is the rewards management for either purchasing actions, what, how do we reward customer? If somebody is doing, uh, uh, posting a positive um, uh, social media post, do we want to give them 100 points and recognize them? Uh, if somebody is purchase, purchasing a special product or a special category product, we want to give them something, or we want to uh, ensure that the shopper is buying, uh, are buying uh, uh, frequently during the month and we want to keep them at certain level uh, or give them uh, encourage them with certain benefits potentially this could be a shorter queue in the call center uh, these are all the the benefits that we can also do in, uh, in the benefits management part dynamic promotion so in combination with, with interaction studio we have also capabilities to uh, show certain promotions specifically during a uh, check out, um, so classify very specific customers across certain loyalty tier, across certain lifetime value and display specifically and dynamically those promotions. Uh, the voucher management, um, and this also includes uh, deciding and giving vouchers uh, offline and connecting to uh, POS systems. The solution also includes uh, analytics, which is based off Tableau CRM. So it's powered by Tableau CRM and it's an integral part of the solution, just so you know, um, which includes analyzing the revenue, the upside, customer satisfaction, et cetera, et cetera. But what you need to know, the analytics can be extended uh, to predictive analytics by purchasing additional CRM uh, Tableau licenses. This means that you have predictive uh, capabilities. For example, before you launch your promotion, you can predict the expected revenue from that promotion. Or you can predict liability from the points that are potentially unused. Uh, lastly, we have industry templates. So in terms of industry templates, we have uh, a template for manufacturing, retail, CPG, uh, travel, um, and, I, and finance. So there are key verticals are being served and we've got templates for creating those uh, promotions uh, for uh, customers. Lastly, um, in terms of the application, as you've seen, our uh, capabilities have grown. So everything in orange sits in Marketing Cloud. Uh, the loyalty management, it interestingly, sits on the core platform, just so we know. The CDP is sitting uh, in, in a separate box, but you need to know that it's also a core platform. Uh, so the good news is that existing customers that are using Service Cloud or core platforms, auto management, community, or CDP uh, will have a relatively easy or easier integration and much faster time to value by deploying loyalty management because all the data that's flowing into the platform, the core platform will be available and all the objects will be shared with the loyalty management systems. Uh, and in particular, we see a lot of um, a lot of customer who have service cloud being interested in deploying loyalty, specifically from for for those reasons, but also uh, for the use cases such as um, call agents or store managers being able to use a um, generosity budget to in case they need to apologize customer or uh, use that generosity budget they can use points points instead and allocate those points in real time in the store or while they're on the phone with the customer um, lastly uh, this is the loyalty solution capability map so from this perspective you can see exactly what are the kind of uh, key areas from pro uh, program administration and the processes and uh, AI, um, intelligent loyalty, how we can recommend promotions, 
uh, how we can detect fraud management or liability, how we can uh, dictate personalized rewards, uh, promotions effectiveness, uh, how we um, effectively connect uh, directly to service cloud, commerce cloud, where we have native integration. Wojtek will cover this later today. Uh, how we can connect to uh, POS systems and how obviously everything is included um, and has native connections with marketing cloud, where when you create a benefit, you can go directly and create your voucher or email um, and po or points calculations directly within your email or the app uh, or CMS for that, uh, for that matter. So we'll share that with you um, after the session. Uh, hopefully it's all recorded. I still don't see the recording button. Uh, but with that, I'll stop. I promised a few slides. I'll let Wukash um, walk you through the storyboards. Thanks, Piotr. Um, hi, everyone. Good evening, actually. And uh, it's really nice to see some of the familiar faces. And thanks for joining today's session. So let me share my screen. Like like Piotr mentioned before, but I can only repeat today, we are going going to go through. Um, I think that's a little bit small. Do you think you can make it bigger? Yes, I will. Uh, bear with me. Is that better? That's I think better. That's better. Another, a little bit more if you could actually just maybe zoom in. Is that much that's better? Good. I guess. Okay, good enough. Okay, cool. Yeah. So continue though. Yeah. Cheers. Perfect. Thank you. So, so today, uh, what we're trying to show is how loyalty, uh, from a practical point of view, how loyalty cloud actually works well with other sets of solution. Um, so what you see on this, um, on the screen is, is currently the loyalty console built for a, a loyalty program manager. So, so what a loyalty program manager can do with loyalty cloud, they got pretty much um, the whole loyalty uh, solution where they can actually uh, manage the whole loyalty program. So, so what you see on the screen is actually analytics of the entire loyalty program. And then um, after, let's say, starting the, the day of the loyalty program manager, they can actually open um open the analytics here and they can manage manage the loyalty program from the perspective of the statistics and an analysis and um and they will be able to to see the accrued points the redeemed points they will be able to see how many points are expired uh, and they also will see the outstanding liability for the company because that's very important and also when during the implementation of loyalty cloud what's also important is that uh, all those accruals they have to uh, land in erp system or financial system of the company that you are implementing it to so so uh, this this liability have to be will have to be accounted for by finance so um uh, this the solution loyalty cloud got everything that you need to to make that happen right so we can send the journals straight to financial system and then uh, and it will be very good for for finance on the client side right so so what what loyalty program managers see here is there obviously they will see the tiers of their um of their loyalty program that they can uh, currently got implemented uh, but they also will see the 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 whole statistics like how how it's performing and then uh, what's actually ha happening so let's have a look on the gold tier actually um so after filtering the gold tier as you can see the 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 graph adjusted and what's uh, what's actually visible for us is the revenue of the gold tier members actually dropping because that's that's the main point loyalty program manager has to also contribute into revenue of the company and if it's well managed it will do so uh successively so in this situation we see that the the gold deal members actually decreasing in revenue so from the loyalty program manager perspective what they can do so they can actually go straight to the uh, cdp customer data platform and create a new segment just for those gold team members thanks to all the data being in the platform 
after doing a few uh, uh, a few filters here on the segment, filtering for gold, the members, um, the frequency of their purchases, we can actually publish the new segment, right? After publishing the new segment, what we can do, we want to activate it, right? So, so in this situation, uh, we will create the the new new experience uh, uh, for this tier members just to activate them. So, in this situation, we're going to create the new promo uh, promotion. The the new promotion will be uh, will be a voucher. Apologize on calls um it will be a voucher the voucher if they spend in our commerce store over 125 dollars they will get 20 percent 20 20 dollars voucher to book a tickets with our, with, with one of our partners so after creating the the promotion we are obviously adding the segment to the promotion the segment which we are just created in cdp um and uh, as you can see thanks to einstein and predictive analytics, which is built in into loyalty cloud, we already got some estimates um, how that segment is going to perform and how that loyalty promotion potentially going to perform based on the previous promotions that we run. So um, the loyalty program managers straight, straight away have some KPIs which are important for them, what what additional revenue that will create, how many targeted members going to be and other factors um, uh, that are also important for them. And also, um, uh, what the beauty of it is also we can add the products that we want um, in this situation be actually covered by this promotion. So if they buy certain certain categories of products or certain products, and then uh, all uh, those uh, points will be adjusted, right? So uh, we can we can do this now. Next thing, what we uh, what we will do is after we actually created the new promotion, the voucher, we created the segment, we got everything that we need. Uh, there is a time to activate it. So we actually can go to Marketing Cloud, go straight to Content Builder, and prepare some nice template for for this promotion to send to our customers. Uh, obviously, in a, a big corporation, there will be uh, marketing team involved which will be creating those templates uh, for uh, for sending to customers so after saving the template we can go straight to journey builder um, the uh, data extension which we actually previously created in CDP will be available for us so we can select the data extension and we in that situation we, we build very very easy uh, journey uh, just to activate those customers but those those might be more and more advanced and then um, we can actually execute that journey and what's going to happen on the other end the customers will receive the emails um, that if they if they make the purchase in our e-commerce um, then they will receive the vouchers if the purchase will be over 125 pounds uh, 125 dollars sorry and then um, this email is always sent only to the segment that we we selected, right? So um, in a subjective uh, situation scenario, that customer uh, go into the the commerce, they they buy in the jacket for hundred ninety dollars, and then they will receive the points. And after after the transaction is finalized, they can actually go straight to the loyalty program. Uh, um, front, uh, uh, which shows them how much reward, reward points they actually already have. And in the voucher sections, they will see a voucher for um, uh, their purchase. And obviously, they can go straight to the, um, uh, the tickets provider website and, and book and apply the voucher. So um, what, what's great about this loyalty program is that um, uh, we can also bring the partners. So as you can see in this situation, we brought, brought external partner and we can also activate our members with the um, potential offerings from other 
partners that are part of our network. So this is in a nutshell how uh, from the perspective of the uh, program manager, how they would jump between loyalty cloud, marketing cloud, uh, customer uh, uh, CDP, um, and to actually, you know, first analyze the loyalty program, secondly, create the proper segment, then activate the segment and create the proper promotions for them uh, and actually increase the revenue because what we will see later on once the promotion starts happening um, obviously the our analytics will show the growth in in revenue right so that's how can pro, uh, how marketers or, or loyalty program managers can proactively work on the loyalty cloud to actually make the entire uh, loyalty program uh, works and actually generate the profits for a company. The next um, use case that I would like to talk about is the use case that can be uh, used very well with Service Cloud. So um, if the customer on, have their own customer service uh, department where they got a lot of um, uh, people working to helping customer with the day-to-day -day queries and um, the loyalty um, program can be also uh, linked to it and then actually provide very good value for our customers and i'm going to show why so so as you can see customer service oper operative now receiving the call from the customers that's that's all familiar from you when we actually um, you connect Salesforce with the CTI tool, then the, the customer card is brought up. And then uh, on the right hand side, what you see is actually loyalty, um, a loyalty, uh, loyalty program details about that man, members and all the important information ha have been bro brought up. So what customer service uh, operative can do, they can go to an analytics of the um, a loyalty cloud program and then uh, they have some important statistics about this member how long he's been part of the loyalty program uh, what their transactions um, uh, amount to um, how many points they actually uh, awarded etc and then obviously what will be very important is to uh, make sure that we work on this customer satisfaction so in this in this particular instance, there is a delivery issue. So customer service operative obviously sol solving the delivery issue and provides the explanation by, but as a, as a also a reward for a customer for, for actually you know, having problems with, with um, delivery, we can adjust the points for customers. So we, we say we're going to give customer additional points for, for the hassle with the delivery. So, from this, this uh, from one screen, the actually customer service operative can adjust the points, and they will give them 500 extra points that they can uh, later on redeem on other products later on, um, and then uh, recover the situation with the customer. Why is that important? It it is important because it provides the the customer obviously sense of um, that the customer service uh, made a really, really good job. But also, uh, you know, in that situation, we awarding customer the points to redeem in our services. So this way we can really, really minimize the situation that customer will say, I'm not going to do the business with your company anymore and I'm returning the, the product. So having those as a part of customer service, those tweaks, it's um it's uh, it's a really really important part and then and then um it's great that our loyalty cloud works seamlessly with our uh, with other products that Salesforce offering right so in that situation obviously we made our customer happy and then uh and then we we solved the issue um i'm I'm presenting it, but if anybody at some point got any questions, please feel free um, to ask. Uh, I should mention that earlier. Um, if if something is not understandable for you, or you would like me to elaborate a little bit uh, about 
and uh, things that I'm showing, um, please, please mention. Feel free to to interrupt me at any point. Next part, um, what I'm, what I want to show is how how actually simple it is to to set up the the entirely new loyalty program and then also use the flow builder to then um, set the specific actions that may happen uh, uh, in a loyalty cloud and. As Piotr mentioned before, the loyalty cloud is completely based on a Salesforce platform. Therefore, Flow Builder is the very big superpower of the platform. Therefore, we can do actually a lot, a lot of things. So in this particular instance, I'm going to set up the new uh, new program, NTO Insider, and I'm going to go straight to a program. And then what you see on the screen, there will be there are pretty much two very relevant tabs here. First will be set setup of the loyalty uh, program. It will consist of setting up the proper tier groups. So we can have few tier groups. In this particular instance, we're going to have a silver, gold, um, and uh, and bronze, I think. And then um, obviously we can also set up the uh, loyalty program currencies. And then in this. Uh, instance we can also have a multiple currencies so um so um we can set this up so let's start with the uh, setting the, the um uh, fixed loyalty tier group and then our opening uh, I, I set up the new tier group and obviously tier group will consist on the various levels so we have to add all the levels so um after we added all the levels we're going to have in a tier group we're going to have levels silver gold and platinum in that situation now we going back to the our loyalty program and we can see we set it up the loyalty tier group next part that we're going to do you we will set up the currency so we in this situation will set up two types of uh, currencies one will be qualifying one will be not not non-qualifying and also, we will gonna set up the exp uh, expiration model. So after we set up this currency, is quite straightforward. Again, all those boxes are declarative. So if some of them are not necessary for for your loyalty program implementation, you are free to change them, or other the new ones, of course, as a custom field. So I'm gonna add also non qualifying currency. Uh, fix and expiration interval. So in this particular instance, we're going to have two currencies for this um, loyalty program. And next uh, part that we want to do after we have the tier set up and currencies, we we're going to set up the partners. So so in this situation, uh, we can bring external partners to the program, and then we also can obviously add the specific products that will be based um, that, that will be kind of um, covered by this um, by this promotion so i did just that as you can see in in this um, demo flow we've added actually i've got added multiple uh, program partners um, and then um, and then obviously that shows you that then um, the, the loyalty program can not only consist that uh, the benefits that we um, creating by, let's say, a company that implemented it, but also we can bring the other benefits from outside world and make our loyalty program more interesting for our customer. So next part, after we set up loyalty deal groups after we set up program currencies and we add the partners and the products that will be also uh, covered by um, partner promotions we uh, start with setting up the uh, loyalty experiences so there are three benefit types loyalty promotion vouchers so we will start from setting up the voucher which will be for for discounted percentage 10 percent and after we set up the voucher, then we can set up the benefit types. So, so we'll have to say what this voucher is actually, what benefit it will give. So in this situation, we've got, got 
we have discounted vouchers, we save that, and then we add in loyalty benefits. So 10% discount vouchers, saving that, coming back to, to this, and we also have to map the action. So, so after we added that 10% discount voucher, we'll map the action. And as you can see, I got two, two actions straight from Flow Builder. So they have to be pre-built in um, a Flow Builder first. So in this situation, Flow Builder will issue 10% voucher or 20% voucher. So after we come back uh, to this, uh, we we can see that we already got plenty of vouchers set up. So um, in this particular story, you you see few, and then um, the benefit types. So so what benefits they will also get: shipping returns, birthday gift, extra point days, discount vouchers. So now what uh, the next part that we have to do it will be. Um, uh, setting up the the another benefit type um in this this situation we'll set up the benefit for customer support so let's say if the uh, if the customer reached a certain tier level they will receive the customer support uh, and they will have access to priority phone support and again we have to map action from flow builder to create the priority support. So that will be obviously uh, the special tag will be added to to the customer page that we already have in the system. So after setting all of that, we, we will have to come back to setup and then add um, click to, to our uh, click our um, tier groups and then uh, we have to add a relate benefits to the certain tier group. So so once we got all the benefits uh, pre-built in the system, we can link those benefits to the actual um, uh, loyalty tiers. So this, this way, certain benefits will be only available to let's say gold tier and other benefits will be related to silver, et cetera, et cetera. So in that situation, we did just that. And coming back to loyalty experiences from setup, uh, we will create the new loyalty promotion. So that's like the the main thing. Once we do have all the benefits, all the vouchers, and all the actions linked, and also tiers set up, what benefits are available for certain tiers, we create the kind of a the uh, top tier which will be new loyalty promotion and in, in this situation we'll have the the promotional reward points and then after, uh, once the loyalty promotion is um, set up we add in the segment uh, um, which that promotion will be covered by and obviously we add in our products uh, from partners that will be covered by by this promotion and then in this situation we we got our benefits set up our all the loyalty promotions that we're going to run our vouchers that are going to be received by customers and then all that's left for us is add all the loyalty program members to this NTO inside their program. So as you can see on the screen, we added all the members, and then you can also see all the the transactions that are in the journal, which will be also linked to our financial system. But that kind of give you a great overview of what the loyalty cloud capability is, because we've just cr now created one program. We created certain benefits that we want to give to our clients. We link them to tiers. We create the vouchers that will be sent to our customers, um, or they they will be able to redeem points to get those um, those vouchers. And then we also are gonna run uh, promotions to make them earn more more points, redeem more points, and also make them obviously create more revenue. And then, in the same time, we can also bring the partners in. So bring the partners in and set the promotion for certain products and that's pretty much 
what loyalty program allows you to do and then you can create another loyalty program and then companies can have a multiple loyalty programs with multiple tiers multiple benefits multiple promotion and vouchers and as you saw on my first scenario everything can be governed out of the uh, analyzed by tableau crm that you've seen and then uh, and then obviously a uh, loyalty program can be managed to bring more revenue for a company and really work on that breakage um, of the loyalty program. Do you have any questions so far? Okay, I, I say I take this as a as a no. Are there use cases uh, for loyalty program managers, for example, with Social Studio? So um as you know we can uh, use a social studio for social listings on um on the um um social media and what's what's interesting about it is that the so social studio can also work very well with uh, uh with the loyalty cloud so in this situation um you, what you see is that the customer is actually making the purchase in one of our commerce and then they also actually sharing um and tagging our company on social media that they they just had amazing hike in one of our winter jackets or wine jackets so you can see social studio um, uh, shows us that they the adam smith actually shared um, uh, something about our company and what's what's interesting we can actually um from the social studio, we can actually make the disposition to to send uh, additional loyalty points to that member. As you can see, this is the kind of experience of a customer. They receiving the um, the push notification from us that we notice your Instagram as Adam as thank you gift. We are giving you hundred bonus points for being an NTO ambassador in that situation. So. It's another kind of a use case how to really make that loyalty program uh, work. And I think um, uh, looking at the generally how the loyalty program works, that really can make you stand out because we can connect our loyalty cloud with service cloud. We can connect it with marketing. We can connect it here with Social Studio, part of marketing cloud we can also bring more and more benefits from our partners in the loyalty program and if you actually get everything together it creates a big big benefit for a company and for our customers to be part of this loyalty program uh, so so those bits are, are part of of loyalty cloud um if you don't have a any questions i think i give my voice to Wojtek. Wojtek, i think you will be sharing next right am i right uh, correct yeah i am the next one over here so um so you done with your part correct yes i'm done with my par part if there's any questions Perfect. yeah please. exactly if there are any questions yeah just don't be shy unmute yourself ask the questions that's the right uh, right moment right place for it um the same actually during my presentation if you need to actually just clarify something whatever just pretty much unmute yourself interrupt us and we will try to answer all the questions for you um so now i'm gonna actually just start because uh, there will be actually two parts of my presentation cheers cheers Lucas. sorry um i actually just interrupted you that uh, brutally like that but uh uh, so yeah, anyway, so there will be two parts of presentation. First, I'm going to show you a couple of slides. And as Piotr said before, I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about um, about um, loyalty management, both from the but from the perspective of like you know use cases, bit of architecture, which simply means what is needed for loyalty management uh, to work. So I have a nice, beautiful slide about this, and then a couple of slides related to what pre-built integrations we have within the platform. I'm sharing my screen right now, so I hope you will be able to see each other there. 
Um, now, uh, do you see, uh, I believe you see yourself, uh, I mean, the avatars over there, so I'm going to actually just move to my presentation. Um, now, so this is actually just my screen, Wojciech Gaura, for, for those who uh, still don't know me. Um, I'm solution engineer working for Salesforce at the moment. I'm solution engineer working only with marketing cloud products at the moment. Um, so we're going to actually just start and because Piot actually just was talking about our industry templates. Um, it's actually good to uh, maybe clarify a bit uh, what industry template is. So industry template is uh, pretty much, um, we could call it a little bit like out of box solution for the companies to implement uh, pretty much um, the, the lo loyalty program. Okay, so um, this the what means out of the box. So pretty much all like decision tables uh, or flows, uh, also flows are which I'm going to present li um, uh, later on today are already pre-built in the in the um, tool. So all what you have to do as the customer or potentially I mean the company who implemented it, like you know, for example Deloitte. Uh, all what you have to do is just, you know, look into how to import information into the IT management so you can start and start actually uh, working with your um, loyalty program. So at the moment, we have actually just two templates available are uh, B2C communication, B2B manufacturing, retail, uh, D2C retail and consumer goods as well. Um, so those ones are available by, um, I mean, at the moment, and obviously we're still working. This is a relatively new product. And so our um, sort of engineers that are working and probably there will be much more of this industry standards templates actually um, available uh, this year and uh, most likely next year uh, as well. Some of them will be added. Um, let's go to the next one. So this will be a quite short one. I prepared some three kind of use cases, loyalty marketing scenarios. So that will be in connection between the loyalty and marketing, uh, sorry, and marketing. Um, so in, in this particular scenario, we're talking about member acquisition. We divided this plan for like, you know, four different sections. As you can see, is define loyalty strategy, set up and launch, and enroll, recognize. Uh, those three kind of um, elements are here. So the first one, define loyalty strategy. That will be something what you would do in loyalty. Uh, you will define the loyalty st promotion strategy. You will identify this target. Um, then you would actually just, you know, combine with integration with marketing. Um, you would actually just set up campaigns, associate them with some goals, create targets, obviously the segments. And these segments, as we can see over here, create target segments can be also segments coming to us from um, CDP, from customer data platform. Um, but for this particular example, we have marketing. Um, so yeah, then in terms of enroll, yeah, member clicks, uh, in field information, signups, send reminders, that would be job for obviously marketing. However, um, loyalty will be at this point and they're all responsible for creation of um, like loyalty member. And obviously all the decision making kind of flows to trigger joining bonus to, um, to member. So some certain number of points will be credited to his account. And then again, marketing cloud after all will actually just send a welcome email um, to the customer. How does it look like? Uh, it's simple. Um, this is actually just sample one solution with Journey Builder. So we have our data extension, which is a segment of people uh, coming to us. Uh, we are actually applying a filter criteria over here. Um, so we want to focus on, on loyalty members um, who actually have the value fails, which means that they are not our um, uh, loyalty members yet. We send them welcome email, we wait, and then we have a decision split monitors who sign up for the program. If uh, someone actually sign up for it, then uh, we have this element over here uh, where we add the member to loyalty program uh, and we assign these points or the loyalty tier. So as Lukas just presented a second ago, uh, for this particular uh, use case, it would be like a gold, silver, and platinum. And I think so, then obviously people will quit the journey at the end. But if someone decided to ignore our email or our email just, you know, basically was not opened, 
Um, then we're going to go this route. Uh, we're going to again send that email, but this one will be probably just, you know, like as a reminder and uh, just, uh, and just, just leave it, um, leave it like that. Um, the next one, uh, the next one will be actually, I'm going to stop here. Any questions here? Is that clear what, what I'm presenting on the screen at the moment? Okay, I guess it's clear. So let's move on to the next one. So that's the sample number two, which means we send a real time communication. And this is actually something where we can do uh, using flows over here. So that's a reward accru um, accrual offering. And um, which means we're gonna actually just, you know, combine all this uh, basically points credited to the, to the account. Uh, and then pretty much send the communication about it um, to the customer. So in this particular uh, element, we have obviously the, the tier member because obviously each tier will have a different probably number of points or benefits or, or promotions available. Um, so this particular one is gold. We credit points. We again credit points for some purchase. Um, the transaction is done. And then as you can see, uh, this person qualified for some double point promotion, for example. So this flow will uh, uh, will uh, double the, the number of points attached. Uh, plus, uh, we see a Lacoste bonus, so that yeah, probably the, the person bought another product. Uh, also, at the same time, we see that the person has a birthday. And um, so all these points were actually collected and credited to the person um, account. And he got, obviously, notifications. So, and also worth to mention that the channel can be dynamic, so we can obviously send email, SMS, or we can send in-app message uh, to the if if that if that app is obviously available to the um, to the customer, and that would be real-time communication sent to members. Uh, and also, as you can see here, and I'm going to show the, the the templates a little bit. I mean, not templates, but like you know how how we can actually just leverage and generate even. Uh, those information uh, later on once we finish with this slide. And the sample uh, three, which be, would be a scheduled communication. Um, so a scheduled communication is very simple. As you can see, we would be actually just, you know, scheduling an email for all users who had an activity this month. This is actually how we would set up. This is the start journey. Um, obviously, scheduled day of the week, so every Wednesday. Uh, and we're going to finish that after uh, two times. So email with summary of all transaction will be delivered to uh, those 18 recipients, as we can as we can see in this particular segment uh, of the customer, which we in marketing cloud, if someone is not familiar, we call this a data extension. And so that would be um, that would be those three kind of sample. Um, kind of use cases. Obviously, there is there's plenty more of use cases that uh, that you can actually um, just create with with connection of loyalty management and marketing cloud. But I just decide because of the time limit over here, uh, we we have uh, like what 25 minutes left. I decided to include only this three. Now we're gonna go a little bit de um, deeper into the product uh, before we actually jump in. I'm gonna show you the kind of like a live environment. And we're going to click through uh, through it. Uh, it's our integrations. OK, so integrations here is um, so what integration uh, what integration is needed. OK, so this keep in mind that this what I'm presenting on the screen over here is kind of like I would even describe it as an ideal kind of architecture for uh, loyalty management to work. Why ideal? Because obviously uh, some companies won't have maybe commerce cloud or maybe, you know, um, they, they, their program like member enrollment won't be available through point of sales, uh, for example. Um, so, so obviously this is kind of like a whole ecosystem. And also because it's maybe, it might be kind of puzzling for someone confusing why we have customer data platform. Uh, customer data platform here would be, um, well, we would advise to actually just use it, obviously. Um, because it allows you to create kind of more sophisticated, more advanced segments. However, if you don't have or if you don't want to use customer data platform, obviously, uh, loyalty management will work without it. Uh, simply, um, as you can see over here, we would leverage Marketing Cloud Connect uh, to basically push information between loyalty management to um, the marketing cloud and then obviously get back information about like preferences, 
clicks, uh, opens, um, uh, for example. Um, so yeah, so this is, uh, is uh, as I said, this is kind of like an integration. What, what do we need? Uh, uh, blue arrows, obviously, we have REST APIs. And so first of all, through REST API, we would query the member apps or sites for the member details. Um, so uh, yeah, we would actually fire their call. And then for Commerce Cloud, obviously member enrollment, orders, but that would go through bulk REST API. Um, and then every redemption through Commerce Cloud through, through that website uh, would be also actually just, you know, um, uh, going through, through that REST, um, REST API uh, point of sale. And now this element is actually quite interesting because like in loyalty management, yes, we can generate the calls, the vouchers, yeah. Um, but we need a tool which will generate those, those vouchers for us. So this is actually nice described over here. So Commerce Cloud would actually just, you know, uh, send, I mean, fire RS API to voucher code. Voucher code would be generated and generated codes would be actually sent to loyalty management so they can be attached to, um, uh, to an email, for example, or to any other communication in the form of code, QR code or whatever, so they can be redeemed um, later on. Um, so uh, also we have integration with obviously loyalty member member portal. I'm going to briefly show it in a second to you uh, because um, I have it open on the screen on the, uh, in a different tab. And um, so, yeah, that will be something what we call experience cloud. Um, long time ago, probably about two years ago, we used to call it community cloud. Um, it was rebranded for, for experience cloud where people will be able to actually just, you know, log into the portal, uh, get access to the, the shared with them data, and also kind of see, have a glance of their transaction in terms of points, uh, uh, information about on what, which tier they are, how many points they have, um, et cetera, et cetera. And so that's also um, available uh, for, um, for us. Uh, do you have any questions at this point, or we can move on to uh, the next part, which is still related to integrations, but I will be talking about our pre kind of like, you know, out of the box kind of integrations, which have been already developed for, um, for our customers. If not, I'm sure we're going to have some sort of like, you know, 10 minutes left for maybe questions after all. So don't be shy. Um, let's just, uh, ask, uh, you can ask them later on too. Perfect. So now in terms of CDP, so we have, um, so obviously we have a um, direct, um, loyalty cloud integration. And so the CDP, if you don't remember, that's something what I was actually presenting on our last community meeting. I think it was more than half ago, I believe. And um, so that's the customer data platform, uh, which allows you to pretty much uh, bring information from these separated systems into one and create a one single golden record of the customer. So at, on the screen, as you can see over here, we have this connector um, to loyalty cloud. So this information as like pre-built loyalty management data bundles, uh, loyalty data streams, or bring segments into loyalty management that can all be achieved in a very little effort because co connection, like, you know, to, to, to create that connection integration, um, it's very easy and you would use a UI user interface for that. Another, uh, another actually just uh, our integration is loyalty management integration with messaging and journeys. So that will be email studio, obviously pull loyalty promotion into email studio. Uh, those three use cases I showed you, yeah, that's pretty much what we would actually just use. Uh, we would actually create those customized personalized emails and we would leverage a journey builder to send them. Um, and yeah, we could leverage loyalty management data and content builder for that um, as well. Again, in the form of very intuitive uh, user interface to connect these two uh, together. Uh, so no, not much effort is needed uh, for that. Another one, yes, is Experience Cloud. That's exactly what I uh, what I was talking about a couple of minutes ago. Um, so yeah, we have loyalty portal template. Again, you don't have to design it from scratch. You can use Experience Cloud with loyalty to have the template, so uh, you can be up and running quite quickly with a uh, with uh, not much of configuration. Obviously, there must be some configuration in terms of customization um, information on the screen. 
um, or what we want to present to the customer. However, to design the whole page, whatever, that's a massive time saver to have this kind of portal template, which I'm going to briefly show uh, in um, in a couple of minutes. Um, so, yeah, the next one would be our service cloud. Yes, yeah, so loyalty management integration with service cloud um, that will allow you to take an action on loyalty member, like, you know, just to change member tier, adjust point, issue vouchers. Uh, this can be also done manually. Uh, or through the flows, um, through the automatic way, which I'm going to also briefly just show you um, uh, later on. Uh, and then thanks to that, obviously, we have measure satisfaction of agent performance. Um, so uh, through that integration, you can you can have everything in one place. So dashboard measuring, CSATs, uh, agent performance or whatever, and uh, that can uh, all be done from uh, from here. And then the last type of integration is loyalty integration with Pablo CRM, as we can see on the right screen. And I'm going to actually probably uh, show a little bit of analytics in my in my demo. I mean, in my presentation in a couple of minutes. Uh, but yeah, but we can actually have pro, pro, uh, program analytics, member analytics, uh, partner analytics, and uh, member inactivity predictions. Obviously, that could be also done through. Um, CRM. Okay, so I'm going to move now and we're going to move uh, quickly to the to the platform. So this is actually kind of like a semi live demo, I would say, because it's a mock demo with information related to loyalty management. Uh, you probably seen it on some of the slides um, uh, presented by Wukash today. Uh, but yeah, so this is actually just an example of how your homepage could look like. Um, so you as an administrator, you just logged in over here, you are presented with this beautiful graph um, where we have our members divided by the tiers. Um, so we know how many gold members, platinum, silver we have um, over here. Uh, what's the difference? I mean, if if, uh, if we have a kind of like our loyalty program is dedicated or can be um, dedicated for both corporate and individual. Yes, we can quickly just see that uh, we see. Um, kind of like, you know, non-qualified points to the avenue. So how they build up in time over here. Um, and then some other graphs like member acquisition. So that will, pro uh, will actually just, you know, give us some glance and proper understanding. How do we, um, acquire these members through different channels? Um, so as we can see over here, email is probably, uh, the most popular in this particular, um, example. Also very useful graphs like this one over here where we have members and transactions. Um, so we see in which month basically, um, uh, which month was the most popular. Uh, so that gives us again, in, in very useful information because then we, we can find out what we've done actually in this particular month or what happened in August that suddenly, uh, people started to actually just, you know, use transactions, um, so widely and the, the demand increased, increased up until the December. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, also referral. Yeah. How many people are coming through referral because the loyalty program, like you could, uh, you could actually credit some points for someone if, uh, if you didn't, uh, if you don't referral, for example, and then some details about people who joined the, uh, the program. So like we have tier groups, status groups, so this one is silver. Uh, type and then enrollment channel. So this all information obviously can't be extracted, uh, for to, to, to other analytical tools if that's needed. Um, and that will give us like, you know, proper understanding, uh, understanding like, you know, what is, uh, going on over there. Not only that, we have also engagement tabs. So we can click on mem uh, member activity um see obviously the last transactions, like, you know, how many of them were done in particular month. What's the trend? Um, and then, uh, the details, um, expired this one. Uh, yeah, this one, there's no expired, but the yeah, referral uh, refers and referrals. So we can actually see how this was changing in time. Um, for us, uh, member tenure. Yeah. How long? Um, so what's the average transaction amount and, and members, uh, tenure. So, uh, we have this, this, uh, nice graphs where we can just analyze and help us kind of to, to understand, uh, how the performance of our loyalty, um, loyalty program. Uh, and then as you can see, number of transaction members, and that will be, um, kind of like inactive members. So you can see how many of them, 
uh, are actually how this is raising. Yeah. Uh, now another tab which is very interesting is obviously partners and products. Um, so um, that would be you know uh, as well very useful graph to, to see those transactions and divided by the um, kind of like you know partner and name and name over here uh, plus sorry I have to move here uh, plus products and categories so uh, we can see how the QP redeem was uh, changing over here satisfaction there is not much to uh, to present also like if we if we want to properly understand any of these tiers yeah this is a fully interactive uh, as you would expect um, dashboard so we can just click on the specific tier and the system will present us with information and, and analysis done only related to this particular silver tier in this particular uh, uh, particular example um, okay now let's let's talk a bit about um, how the platform looks like Okay, so I'm gonna actually just you know go here to NTO. So this is actually our program. You've seen that on the slide uh, presented by Wukash. Um, so it's pretty much the same, but now um, we can actually just click through uh, through the platform um, over here. Um, so yeah, lo loyalty tier groups. Yeah, we can have a couple of them. This particular one is set up as we said: silver, um, silver, gold, and platinum. Uh, program currencies, yeah, this is actually just obviously two type, as Lukas said. We have non-qualified and qualifying. So qualifying, the difference between them is uh, they will qualify you, let's say, to those tiers. So the number of points will qualify you to move from um, uh, from silver to gold, from gold to platinum. And non-qualifying is the number of points which you can use to read them some of the products. Um, loyalty program members, yeah, this is kind of how the ledger looks like. So we can we can actually just you know uh, sorry ledger will be uh, will be here, so we can see how those uh, points were adjusted. We have ma manual point adjusted. I will talk about this in a second. Loyalty programs um, are there too, uh, but what I want to actually just show you is one of the uh, so this is actually just one of the loyalty program member. Um, we have uh, in this particular example uh, Iron Smith. And we have all the information about like an enrollment channel. Yeah, this person came to us through point of sale. Um, um, a POS, I mean. Uh, so what we can do, yeah, we can actually just view obviously the member benefits here. We can see that, okay, she's getting at the moment with her tier, she's getting standard support. And also um, uh, with her tier, she's getting here the extended return, extra seven days, that's the entitlement. Um, if we would like to add extra benefits to that person for some reason, I don't know, because she was unhappy, she gave us a couple of uh, um, satisfaction surveys quite bad, and we want to kind of, you know, look after that person. Yes, absolutely, uh, as a gratification or just to say sorry or whatever, we can add just points manually. We're going to click on this. We can just say, okay, let's just uh, um, actually just give her a gift as reward points we can just you know put plus because obviously we can also deduct these points um if uh if it's necessary yeah uh, we put uh that would be like you know we can actually just you know add the promotion over here etc and that will be automatically done and not only that yes we can uh, we have also option to issue voucher um so yeah as the as to say sorry apologize for whatever happened there and uh, just to buy back this customer, we can actually issue voucher. And uh, so once we click on this, that will give us an option to choose from one of the available vouchers, like, you know, Christmas or whatever, a complimentary voucher for platinum members, woman wear voucher, doesn't matter. You know, we just create those vouchers before, as you've seen in on slides presented by Yukash. So we can treat that person with this particular kind of um, present. Um, and yeah, we can also set up obviously expiration date. We don't want this voucher to, to stay alive forever. Uh, and also like, you know, if you want to, we want to manually adjust also discount. So, uh, that could be whatever you want, even up, up to you. If you want to actually give something for free, you can, you can put 100% over here. No problem at all. We click issue. The voucher will be issued and automation will automatically pick it up and deliver that voucher to the person using email address. Um, through, for example, Journey Builder, uh, which uh, we were talking about um, before. Uh, now, in terms of uh, in terms of 
uh, flows. Let's just move quickly to the flows over here. So this is how you would actually create a logic. And again, these flows would be already pre-configured, coming with templates. Um, however, if you as a marketeer or admin um, or whoever is looking after uh, the, uh, the whole loyalty program, um, that's how you would actually just create. So let's say apply promotion. I'm going to open one of these. And you will see that this beautiful flow will actually just be presented. So in this particular example, we see um, the decision uh, decision is made. Um, uh, then, you know, we have elements like a block. So update the progress for uh, cumulative promotion. Um, and then again, um, we going, you know, through a couple of decisions. And then after all, uh, if I can move it, yeah. Uh, the action is, uh, so credit points or issue voucher based on this logic, which we're going to probably try to open it here. Yeah, there is a, ro a logic over here, credit points for accurate having promotion with whatever based on this logic, as we can see over here, those outcome orders, three of them are here. Um, the system will decide if she if, uh, should issue a voucher or just credit some extra points um, to the customer. Yeah, so the, so the loyalty program can be like, okay, it's accumulative. So let's say if you've done five purchases, you're going to get voucher on something. However, if you're going to do only three purchases, we're going to just credit extra points for you. You're not going to get a voucher. So this kind of like, you know, this logic, uh, this decision kind of uh, will be made by the flow. Um, so we don't have to worry and do it uh, manually, um, obviously, um, over here. Um, now, in terms of experience, so um, so experience, that would be kind of like I'm showing that from the builder. So that's the MTO insider. So, yeah, you have the uh, you have the. Um, kind of already pre-configured template. This one is very kind of uh, simple one and not very sophisticated. It's, it's just a little further for the purpose of the demo. So we have our user who can quickly just, you know, um, see uh, the benefits of each tier uh, tier and what's happening, like extended period return. So it was seven days, 15, 30 days. Um, uh, and also you can quickly see this is a completely brand new user with no points whatsoever yet, but you can see that yeah, he's at silver. Uh, and in, through that um, through that bar over here, we can track his um, kind of uh, progress towards the goal. So yeah, if he's near that, uh, that's probably just, you know, the message for him, okay, if, if I buy another two, three products, I might get gold and then I will get all these extra benefits, uh, including free shipping order for uh, for orders above 200. Uh, two hundred dollars. Yeah, obviously vouchers. There's nothing. It's a new user, but normally what the person would actually just see over here is is vouchers generated by the system or manually, as I presented a second ago. Um, and also we can leverage here something called um the survey builder, so we can use survey. This is just example of the template, uh, loyalty redemption sur uh, survey, um, where we have our welcome page. Uh, so this obviously, um, is the script which will pull this information, um, uh, from the, from the database. So that the journal record loyalty program name. And let us know how we did. Redeem points for that will be product name or voucher definition, activity date. So this will look quite uh, sophisticated. How it look? Let's just click preview and have a look how this kind of survey, um, can be done. So thanks for being value member. Fantastic. Let us know how we did. Uh, we're going to click next and survey is presented here. How would you rate uh, our experience? We can obviously go for excellent. Um, everything was good. Pick one. Um, so we'll be extremely appealing in this particular example. Extremely likely uh, comments then done. So, uh, the feedback was sent and we straight away got information. We have added reward points to your account. Thank you for your participation. And that's again what I was talking about. This would be um, actually just one of the flow will trigger over here, um, which was on the list over there. And these points will be credited um, to the customer. I think there was one credit point for the referral. Uh, it's okay. Uh, social media. Okay. I'm not going to find this right now. There is a quite large, um, obviously, a number of pre configured flow, but that will be one of those. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, that will trigger and this customer will be credited with that extra points uh, for um, for it. 
Um, so now we have still five minutes left. I'm going to actually just, you know, maybe go, um, well, I will stop not presenting, but I just going to ask you if you have any questions related to what I just presented to you um, or everything is clear. Um, so any feedback from you in terms of like, even if you like the, the what, what do you think about the tool, whatever? Yeah, I, I encourage everyone to kind of like, you know, participate in uh, in the conversation right now. Oh, it's silent. But the most important is, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I might have a question. Uh, if I'm yeah. to. Go ahead. Uh, by the way, great to see it. I think it was a great uh, demo to to get a very good overview of uh, of the application and possibilities. Um, you just showed me um, the the voucher issuing from loyalty okay. management, and I was wondering, does that only work when you have like a commerce cloud? attached or could that also work with third-party uh, tools if they are uh, no ab absolutely you can work with third-party tools uh, that's uh, that's basically how loyalty management will work yeah absolutely you don't need a commerce for that um if you have a third party and that vulture can be generated triggered basically uh using third party yeah, absolutely uh through the api we can uh we can send the vulture to loyalty management and just ship it using a channel of your choice. Okay, thanks. No problem. Um, any other questions? Yeah, uh, so first and foremost, thank you guys for a wonderful session. And my question would be regarding the integration. So basically, what I understood so far is that the segmentation is basically based on CDP solution. But what if a customer, for instance, doesn't want to buy CTP and is already using another tool, for example, in a Google BigQuery for, for, for segmentation and all the data is stored in GCP. So is it possible like to connect loyalty management with BigQuery for, for the sole purpose of segmentation? Uh, so, um, just to clarify, I'm going to actually just go to slide with integration. So CDP is not necessary for loyalty management to work. Okay. So CDP is actually presented over here as one of the possibilities. However, as you can see, you don't need CDP to create those blocks because you can store information, the loyalty management information as objects on in loyalty management. Okay. So you could easily just remove this block. And alternative to CDP, loyalty members or their points and tiers would be actually just pushed directly to marketing cloud. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure if that answers your question. If well, that, if that, not that, precisely, that, so because you know when I was just just playing with, with loyalty management and I was trying like to create a segmentation just just on the mock data, uh, there were two paths: either to use CDP or go through campaigns, and these campaigns were to be attached via, I, don't know, it was, I believe it was REST API uh, through Google uh, Data Fusion 2 uh, BigQuery. So is there any other way, or it, without, you know, CDP and, and Marketing Cloud, is it still possible, like, to just get this data into loyalty management and actually both, both ways, back and forth from GCP? I mean, you could leverage, uh, you could leverage, obviously you can store information, um, as I said, in loyalty management, um, database. So obviously like a ledger with transactions, members or whatever that can sit in loyalty management objects. Okay. And this can be actually just, you know, and then through a mar marketing cloud connect, you can actually just push this information. Like as you can see, loyalty members order, order history points and tiers to marketing cloud for the purpose of um, communication, yeah, on, on, on the various different channels. Um, so, um, so yeah, so absolutely, uh, like I said, CDP is just optional over there. Would be great to have it, but it's not super necessary. Um, if that, if that's what you mean. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Perfect. No problem at all. Any other questions? Quiet. Okay, um, Maciej, so I guess I will um, 
because we already reached mm -hmm. yes, uh, yeah and i and i stopped on. recording just, just for ah, your you information did. so yeah so, so okay. we are not recording this uh, uh i will then evaluate the, the quality of the recording not not in terms of the content that you presented but how actually it, it, it was you know recorded in terms of the sound and, and image but uh, for the questions like uh if i can ask one or two uh, uh maybe a generic one so when you presented the solution do you uh believe that it's um uh, a solution primarily for companies to manage the loyalty program as the name would suggest and the content that you presented or uh, you also i would say foresee some solutions for end users you showed us the experience cloud which which could be used for that but like maybe you could elaborate on it if you have any knowledge uh, do, do you plan to have any solutions that that the customers could actually experience such as experience map, maybe mobile app, maybe something different. I'm not sure if I understand the question correctly. So pretty much like, okay, so you are talking about different solution than experience cloud, where we could actually just, you know, hook it up with layout team management to present. Yeah, let, 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 let's imagine that you, that you are, I would say, showing up at the store and you would like to somehow identify yourself as a, as a member of, of the program. Uh, so that would be, I would say, the easiest way. Currently, everybody asks, could you show us the, uh, the, the card or maybe you are using stock card or, you know, that kind of solutions. Uh, maybe I've missed this part in the presentation, but, uh, do you plan to, I would say, resolve that, that cases? And also apart from the experience cloud to which you could log in, do you plan to have like a mobile app for the customer? Uh, at the moment, I'm not aware about any mobile apps, to be honest. Uh, and maybe, uh, Piotr Lobachewski or Lukasz are more familiar with the roadmap of lo loyalty management for the future. Uh, but I don't think that there is any app um, kind of plan. And um, however, obviously, Experience Cloud can be accessed on the phone um, as well, obviously. So you can just log in uh, through the web and, and have a look on this one. And the second, uh, the second question about people showing up at the shop, uh, let's say. Yeah, so as long as they would have their kind of like ID, membership ID, not necessarily card, but they can just, you know, have it uh, or remember the number, uh, this could be actually just, you know, added, uh, I mean, give, given to, to cashier or whatever, and that person can uh, literally just, you know, manually just put that into the system. And um, so the communication between this and loyalty management will be done and points will be added. Mm -hmm. for that particular purchase. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so it is possible, absolutely. Okay, thank you very much, Wojciech. So maybe one one more question. Sure. Uh, I have a long list, but I don't want to hijack the meeting and extend it uh, longer than it's needed. So maybe something valuable for uh, everybody on the call. Um, uh, how, um, I mean, what would be your advice uh, for everybody who's interested in the loyalty cloud and building expertise? So do you have any resources that you would like to highlight um, or um, are there any certifications or accreditations we should be familiar with? Um, okay, so this uh, this will be actually a bit of problem. I mean, this is a bit of problematic question, I would say, because loyalty management is relatively a new tool which was added to our portfolio. Yeah, I think it was added in April last year, as far as I know. So, yeah, there are not too many resources. I mean, um, options like, let's say you have a trial head, you have a sort of service or safe cloud where you can actually just generate a mock um, kind of environment that you can play with it. Uh, there is no such thing at the moment. However, we're working on it, okay? We just literally actually, uh, just a couple of months ago as a solution engineers, we finally got kind of access to the, um, the real kind of live environment where we can actually just build those plans from scratch. In the future, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the best option to, and where uh, the option which will actually be the closest, I mean, it will come first. It definitely, it will be added more kind of advanced trainings into Trialhead. That's what I can, uh, what I can tell you. At the moment, yes, you can find some information um, via Trialhead related to loyalty management, but that would be quite very high level touch of 
of loyalty management. You wouldn't go super deep into uh, into that one. Accreditation, mm-hmm. I'm not aware of any at the moment. I can check that and um, and get back to you. Uh, but as for now, I would say there are no certification related to loyalty management. But that can easily quickly change in the next mm-hmm. couple of months because yes, uh, we're still kind of like you know working on it. There is a main focus in the company on loyalty management and CDP, which was presented on the previous community member. So the information, the set and information availability will be definitely increased there. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much, Wojciech. No, I think on the partner learning environment, there are some courses already. Are they? Right? Okay. So yeah, yeah. Just... Susanna, could you could you share the screen again? Because like we have it yes, covered sure. to some extent. Uh, well, I noticed you... a few. Oh, well, that, that's good to. And I think they're because... expanding it. There's some on manufacturing, etc. Added as well mm-hmm. recently. Yeah. Could, yeah, could, could you show the next screen? Hands-on, ex- uh, hands-on uh, environments. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so, the, the, so this is something I believe it, it's prima, primarily designed for uh, partners, not for I would say regular uh, mm-hmm. learners. But uh, there are some resources that that you can have an access to if you follow the so links. For which partners, are yeah, here. definitely mm-hmm. for partners, yes. But as uh, kind of someone not involved or whatever, so yeah. someone who's only passionate, mm-hmm. like a persona, uh, then yeah, there is not much of a available stuff there yeah. yet. However, we're working on it actively. Mm-hmm. So. Sure. It's just Thank a you very much. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, that was actually the last point. So sh- sharing the, the the ways that you can uh, master loyalty management um, cloud and, and uh, continue your learning. Thank you very much, Dan. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope to see you on our next community meeting. <laughs> Thank you. See you. Thank Have you. Bye. Have a great evening. Thanks. Have a good evening. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Bye.